so today I have an unboxing, a book outlet unboxing that came a little late because I shipped it to the wrong address. That's that's just the life I live with living in two different places, a college address and a home address, and I shipped it to the wrong one, so long story short, my dad shipped it here, so now it's here, but it should have been here a little while ago, but I was dumb. And then I have a couple books that um, I was inspired to get because of a few booktubers, so I bought those too. The first book I have is The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan, and I got this uh, book because Witty Novels talked about it. Um, it sounds really interesting, and it's not a book that I read a lot, um, that I would read or normally pick up, um, but the fact that she talked about how it's a good book to read while you're in college, obviously being in college, I thought this would be a good thing to read. Um, it's about this girl who died a few days after her graduation from Yale, and it's just a book filled with a bunch of her essays that she wrote while in school. This book is a Dimension I Love You by Estelle Mascom, which I was inspired to pick up uh, due to Lovely Like Lara, talking a lot about this book. Um, and I don't usually read series, but this book sounds really interesting, and the fact that she mentioned that it's kind of a little bit like After um, by Anna Todd made me want to pick it up. Um, and it's basically just about a girl who falls in love with her stepbrother. And I get that as a very, very summarized version of this book, but that's all I really know going into it, and that's fine. I think I think that's an interesting plot line. And this last book I have, um, inspired by booktubers, is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, which is also I got because of Lovely Like Lara. And this book, I mean, maybe I'm wrong in saying this, but it sounds kind of like um, Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern, um, because the lady in this book, she picks, she gets a job and she's working for um, this guy who's in a wheelchair, and then the whole book is about their relationship and um, their friendship and what more what more could be brought um, to their friendship, but that is what this book is about. And as I said, I have a book outlet box here, and we can, we'll see how great I'm opening books on camera, or boxes on camera, because we all know I'm really, really good at that. Um, actually, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> but, like I said, I like doing unboxes because or unboxings I mean because um it's kind of fun just to see I don't really remember exactly what I ordered either so we'll see how this goes and I'm cutting towards myself which is what you're never supposed to do because if you slip but you know risk uh my dad taped this box really really well so shout out to my dad for making this book uncomfortably and horribly awkward open uh I can't my dad taped this, like I guess I'm never supposed to be able to open it because this is incredibly difficult to open. And maybe when I'm editing this, I'm going to fast forward this because holy cow, this might be 10 minutes of me opening this box. It's just a box of paper. Ha ha ha. That would be a huge letdown if it's actually just a box of paper. So, here we are. And I, again, don't know what a lot of these books are about, so I'm just going to show them and explain why I bought them because some of them I just bought because they're really popular, and I guess I just follow the crowd. <laughs> if I mispronounce any of these authors' names, again, I truly apologize. I don't know these authors very well. But, this is the fi the fifth wow good words. This is this is the fifth wave by Rick Yancey, and I bought this book of course because it's becoming a movie and it's kind of science fiction. I usually don't read science fiction, but the book plotline actually sounds really interesting to me. Um, but yeah, that is why I bought this book, and I'm excited to read this one sometime. Hopefully, maybe I'll read it before not before the movie comes out because the movie's already out. Um, maybe I'll read this soon so I can go see the movie, or maybe I'll just read it and then the movie comes out on DVD, I can watch it, but we'll see. And this book is I'll Give You the Sun by Jamie Nelson, and I've wanted to buy this book for a long time, but it's always was full price, I never wanted to buy it because of that, but finally I decided to buy it, and I'm excited to read this one too. This is Everything I Ever Told You by Celeste Snig. So the back of this book says it's kind of like The Lovely Bones, so we'll see how that goes. I've read that book and really liked it. Um, this book is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. It's very thin, but... 
what is that? Although you can't tell, because there's no cover in this book, so it's a scratch and dent book, which kind of terrified me buying it, because I've never bought a scratch and dent book, but basically it looks like this book just didn't come with the dust jacket, and that's the only, like, problem with the book, which isn't the end of the world to me, but this is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've wanted to read this book for a really long time, too. Um, I read Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, and she's from Omaha, which is where I'm from, um, but I didn't like Eleanor and Park that much, but everyone says this book is basically me like my life because I fangirl over everything and anything so I'm excited to read this book. This book is Shatter Me by Tara Moffey and I feel so bad that I'm obsessed with books and I've not read this series yet um because Willie Novels talks about it all the time and of course it's her favorite. Um I have I don't know why I just haven't read it I guess just because it's not really the type of book genre that I usually pick up but I'm excited to try this out and see what I think. This is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. I've wanted to read this series for a while now too and it was on Book Outlet so I decided to buy it. Um, I'm behind on this series. Um, it's also a summer series and it's not really summer right now but you know we'll, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll try it out. Um, but I really wanted to read Jenny Han for a while because I've heard her books are really good so that's why I picked this one up. Those are all the books I have for you today. There was a few in there that were kind of interesting, um, but that is my new book outlet order, and I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.